What's up clubbers and welcome back to web3 club. In this video we are going to continue from the previous video where we discussed how do we create a smart contract for airdropping NFTs, ERC20 tokens or even multi token NFTs like ERC1155. We will continue from the smart contract that we have already created. I have deployed that to the ring KY test network and we will airdrop a bunch of NFTs to different addresses that we have generated. In my previous video I asked you the viewers to join my discord and share the nfts that you've created so that i can use that for airdropping but none of you did that except one person called donkey donkey so today the nft that i've i've uploaded i will airdrop one of them to donkey donkey and others to vanity at the address if you don't want to miss out this much fun again i recommend you join my discord as soon as possible or as always the link is in the bio not bio description and before we move further, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. If you're confused as to why do we already have a part two, go, go back to my previous video, watch it. That should clear up things for you. And with that said, let's get started. So off the screen, what I've done is I've created an ERC721 token, which is an NFT. Uh, I've sort of added a 10,000 max supply over here and no funds required to mint it and I've deployed it to Rinke by test network. I'll share the etherscan link of that NFT so that you also can go and mint it while it is still possible. I what I've actually done is minted I think 10 yeah 10 of these I've called I, I'm calling them tougher's which is which is just test muffers and muffers is this awesome new nft collection by sartoshi who is one of the meme accounts around the nft space the nft collection in itself is in public domain so i'm allowed to do whatever i want with these images and that's what i'm doing i'm using those images in my tutorial because i don't need to pay any license fees cc0 nfts all right, so I've minted 10 of them. And as you can see, one, two, three, yeah, up to 10. And these look nice as well. The whole collection sort of lives over here. You can see 10 of them. If you go and mint any of these, you will get the 11th one and then the 12th one and then 13th one. Just to try it out, you can do this. It's free to mint, so it doesn't cost anything except the gas money, which is anyway free because it's on the Rinke by Test Network where you, know, you can get test ether for free from different different faucets now in this video i'm only going to show you how to airdrop nfts but uh, the mechanism for doing the same with erc20 tokens or erc1155 tokens is practically the same you just have to change the arguments a bit to generate addresses what i've done is i went to i went to this vanity eth website where i can just click and generate any random number any any address like that and I can click to reveal the private key as well. So I generated four or five different addresses and then I have one address provided by Donkey Donkey in my Discord. If you're not in my Discord, please hop in, it'll be fun. I do GM every day. On this address, I have already deployed the code that we wrote in the previous video uh, to bulk drop these tokens. So the code that I'm interested in is bulk drop, bulk airdrop ERC721. And then we provide the token address and then the two array and the ID arrays. But before we do that, we need to make sure that this contract is allowed to spend or transfer my tokens on behalf of me. Now, how do we do that? To do that, it's very simple. Uh, let me just open any of these tougher's and uh, this is how I open the the contract and in the read contract to check whether a spe specific contract can transfer the tokens on my on my behalf what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this is approved for all method now in the owner bit i will enter my my address which i'll paste over here and in the operator i'll enter the bulk airdrops address and I query and the answer that has come is false because uh, bulk airdrop does not have any permission I haven't given it any permission and we can test it out as well that it will not work let me just copy this address 
and go to the right world, right section for our bulk airdrop. Uh, I connect with MetaMask, and in ERC721, the token address is this. I want to send it to let's say Donkey Donkey, so I enter the address, and the ID that I want to send is one. I also I own this, but I will not be able to send it when I click on write. It says the transaction is expected to fail because we haven't given our smart contract the permission to transfer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and reject this. And uh, now I'm going to copy the smart contract address, go back to the tougher, uh, tougher smart contract, click on write contract. And here I want to call this method set approval for all. Before that, I need to connect again. Once connected, I can enter the operator's address, which is going to be the bulk airdrop smart contract. And in the approved part, I will write true, T-R-U-E. Okay. Now I click on write. The transaction pops up. I confirm it. And now I just need to wait for the transaction to go through. Once the transaction sort of goes through, what I will be able to do is click on write over here and you will see that there is no error this time. The transaction has approved. I click on right now. And you can see that the error has gone. Boom, just like that. How awesome is that? So now uh, this specific address, the bulk airdrop address has the necessary privilege or permission to airdrop my NFTs to the to the random addresses that I add, add over there. Now I'm going to confirm this transaction and see if this succeeds in sending the token ID from me. As you can see in OpenSea, I own this tougher. I can open this tougher in a new tab and you can see that it's minted by me 26 minutes ago and I'm waiting for the transaction to confirm. The transaction has confirmed so our airdrop should have worked and the tougher should have been sent to a different address and once I refresh you can see that now it is owned by somebody else. You can see that in the transfer event the somebody else has sort of received it 30 seconds ago. So now this is how I did transfer for one person but I could have done simply using the tougher address. I didn't need to deploy a different address for this. Now how do we send it to multiple people? So to do that, of course, I can use the Etherscan page, but that's no fun. I'm, so today what we're going to do is we're going to write our own JavaScript to execute sending tokens to multiple addresses in one transaction. Before we go ahead and write the code, I just wanted to show you how you could have done if you just needed to use the Etherscan page. Basically to send an array across, you just put a comma between um, the, the values that you're trying to send. So I've added two addresses over here, one address two times, and I have added the two different IDs that I wanted to send. I can just press right now. And once I've done that, a transaction pop-up opens and I can confirm and just move on with my life. All right, but what we're going to do is we're going to write the JavaScript code to do this so that you can incorporate this in your own dApps. So right now you can see that this is a very standard HTML file that I always spring up. I've added the web3.js. The, the first thing that it does it is it makes sure that the window.ethereum is present, which means the MetaMask is there. And then if it is present, then what we do is we send the eth request accounts uh, request. And once the connection is made, what we do is we sort of initialize a web3 object. We write down the name of the current account that we have connected with. I'm already in this folder. What I need to do is python m simple http server and once the server is up, up and running i can go to port 8000 just make sure that your abi value is set to something and then you can refresh and you can see that it is showing my wallet address and another thing that i can see in my console is that there is a contract object which is present okay now what i need to do is enter the address of the bulk airdrop over here and the ABI of this bulk airdrop code which I can find over here on etherscan all right I go back I refresh again and this time 
the contract that I have should be the correct one and I can check the methods uh, if you see bulk airdrop ERC1155 is there ERC20 is there and ERC721 is there amazing so the next thing that I will do is I'll call methods bulk airdrop ERC721 and this is how I can just try to call a method it's not being called yet so to do that first I need the token of the NFT that I'm trying to send over right so over here I will enter the string of that address the second thing that I need uh, as you can see over here is first is the token the second is the to address array so I'm going to create an array like this and I'm going to copy the addresses of donkey donkey and uh, four other vanity addresses that I've just created out of thin air if you're wondering who's donkey donkey that is one person who joined discord and said that they are ready to give me their address for bulk dropping on testnet so kudos to donkey donkey and shout out to donkey donkey so the third argument that we have is basically the token IDs that we need to transfer now we have already transferred the first token ID uh, to donkey donkey itself so now we have two we have four we have five we have six seven all right I'm not going to transfer the third one or the seventh one too for that matter let me let's see so we have two four five uh, eight nine two four five eight nine these are five okay and the number of addresses that I also have are five so great two four five eight and nine so this is the method that I've already all sort of created now now I need to send the transaction uh, and the from will be account that I have sort of uh, given this value I'll await this whole method call and now I just need to press enter but before I do that I'll just go to my profile refresh once and just show you that I own these tuffers I don't own the number one tuffer because I've sent it to donkey donkey but otherwise I own all of these okay now I will do and press go here and press enter Hopefully the transaction pop-up should come up. It has come up and now I just need to confirm the transaction. Once the transaction confirms, uh, I'll get a notification that the transaction has gone through. And after that, if I go here and refresh my account, uh, I will not be able to see the tougher NFTs that I held. And as you can see, the transaction is confirmed. I hit refresh and just like that all these nfts have gone to the respective addresses and we can check it out as well let's say we can open the donkey donkey address so as you can see donkey donkey already had a lot of nfts but these were the two that i that i sent them Similarly, there are there these are the vanity addresses that I have created and let's see if they have any NFT and they certainly do tougher number four and Just to check we have one more address and they should have tougher number five and they do Whew, So finally the code is working. So this is how you sort of airdrop NFTs uh, to a lot of people now similarly you could have called the erc20 as well the token address the two and then instead of id you send the value the number of tokens that you want to transfer and for erc1155 you would add token address to the address array the ids like which id you want to send to that specific address and the number of nfts you want to transfer number of tokens you want to transfer of that id to that address so make sure you own all of these and before you move forward you need to make sure that you've given this specific smart contract the permission to send your tokens on be on behalf of you 
and to do that you need to basically approve this specific contract uh, the way i did for 721 was i went and uh, clicked on safe approval for set approval for all in there i set the up set the operator and the approved true false value similarly there is a similar method for erc1155 and the approve method is already present for erc20 tokens all right i think this is it for today uh, hopefully the two part series was helpful to you and now you can airdrop a bunch of nfts or other tokens to your loyal fans if you want to be heard about the next video that i want to that i'm going to create and you want a specific topic to be picked please make sure you comment on this video and also hop in on the discord join in the conversation force me to create videos on the topics you want and before i go i just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel like this video if you liked it <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching the video i hope to see you again next week uh hopefully it's christmas week i want to put up a video i hopefully will but yeah it'll be fun bye bye